driven into a side location. Oh, they were very active here too. Obtaining research material from the walls surrounding the valley. Cutting out blocks of rock. Were they performing geological research? Not necessarily. In these blocks, there are inorganic objects. Solid, metal, sharp-edged lumps.
get off here. found a flying saucer. It landed near the excavation site. Don't risk trying to fly it, Yasna. Nothing guarantees it works. I didn't even... <sighs> Contrary to what you believe, sir, I don't have a death wish. I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of... No, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. The Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. My opinion, it's a bit excessive. For me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. It stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. The excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database, taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one. Similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground. There's also a couple of smaller cranes here. In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They have big machines. Bigger than ours.
Astrogator, I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm. That's for sure. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. Oh, actually, I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. Nearing the destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Uh, actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a site will collapse. How typical of the Alliance. To destroy everything that's in the way. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation, of other people. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Oh no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. to seeing their base. I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed? Just 
What the hell? Oh, another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. Getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh. They're tunneling their way through. With a beam of antimatter. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them, one by one. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just... Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Uh, right. I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, yes. I know you'll do it anyway. Rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan coming at me. I got out. Well, inside the cave. Yes, ma. Can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Oh. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. 
pressure. Breathe, Yasa. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. This place is full of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Parts of the bushes are yeah, fruitless. So the alliance came to pick the fruits. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock. Revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Metal bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasna? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski? Yes. Huh. Or perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, all dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? I simply use terminology I'm familiar with. But we can't talk about life here. For me, it's a virus. A parasite on this planet. I would never classify viruses as living organisms. No, but there are theories that we humans have a common ancestor with parasites, an RNA particle. That's true. However, we can function on our own. It's not easy, but we can. Viruses, on the other hand, need to come into contact with what science calls life in order to activate. Correct. It truly is a phenomenon. Active parasites on a planet housing nothing but scrap metal. And, oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore. Disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. Uh, it must have done something. <laughs> Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. Oh. The robot. No, no, the antimatter. You 
decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Huh. It's cooled down. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. 